In this video, I'll show you how I created a simple self-service kiosk or point of sale using the WaveShare 4.3 inch display with EEZ Studio. The board comes with various I.O. terminals, an SD card slot, a real-time clock, and more. So if needed, you can implement sales logs, inventory management, and other features. Using ESP Now, it's possible to create a customer display system, though I haven't implemented it in this project. Um, you can find all the board details on the WaveShare product page. For this project, I used Easy Studio instead of Squareline Studio. Easy Studio includes example projects that showcase its features and built-in actions. In Easy Studio, I selected the LVGL template and created a new project. Select the main screen in the Pages panel and set its width and height, 800 width and 480 height for this screen. Then go to Settings and set the display width and height accordingly. Select the Build option and adjust the LVGL Include Path and other settings as per your needs. To display the items, I used button matrix widgets and adjusted their position, width, and height for the best layout. Then, go to the Properties panel to create buttons for the items and style their properties to best match the UI. To add item images, go to the Bitmaps panel and import the images. Set the color format to RGB565A, select PNG images, and press OK. Add image and label widgets for the items and adjust their sizes and positions accordingly. I used a font from Google Fonts to make the UI more visually appealing. I placed the item image, description, and price inside a container for better organization and to make duplication easier. Duplicate the item container and update the item details accordingly. To make the button matrix work, uncheck the clickable option for all item containers. Using basic widgets, I created the other UI elements and added some custom images to give it a unique style.
Once everything looks good, press the build button. To set up the code, first download the template file from my OBP GitHub. I've created two more OBPs for the WaveShare board. Create a new folder for Platform IO and copy all the files from the downloaded OBP folder into the new folder. Then rename the folder and files accordingly. The lib folder contains all the display and LVGL drivers specific to the board. Copy the UI folder generated by EEZ Studio and replace the existing UI folder inside lib. This folder includes all the LVGL UI files created for the project. Open the folder in VS Code, Platform.io will initialize automatically. Once initialized, build and upload the code. The UI is ready. Let's add some functionalities to make it work. The code is mostly self-explanatory. You can find all the links in the description. If you like this project, consider supporting by liking, commenting, and sharing. Every bit of support helps.